We didn't beat the game, but 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 it beat stream. Bruce, are you okay? Yeah. The tower just exploded. Yeah. I it noticed. Did. Thank God you're all right. <laughs> Where was the tower? Was the power behind Hugo Strange. Makes sense. All right. This whole place was part of his plan. You're kidding. Where is he now? Uh, Let's just say he's going yeah. to need a trip to a Lazarus pit. Hello? Is anyone there? Yeah, I'm here. I'll get back to you. Something's coming. Let up. me take a guess. Yeah, I knew it. Hello, <laughs> I know you can hear me. Yeah, it's a good thing they got a PA system for the entire city, huh? I was worried you may have forgotten about little old me. Take mm. a look at if your only. girlfriend. Oh, well. Is in danger of having a pretty little brain splattered all over this camera. <laughs> Ignore him, beloved. Let him die. Eh. Uh, well. Romantic. Anyways. Only problem is, I've never felt better. And we both know you really can't ignore me. Can you? Uh, so that I guess you. not. I'm putting on a little show That's fair. for you. It's going to be a doozy. A real red carpet of Sounds fun, Joker. Can we get to the, uh, can we get to the important part? Dressing room? Ah, uh, Anyways. Okay, cool. Uh, well. <laughs> Stop him from becoming immortal. I keep forgetting that that's All like an actual. Honest to God thing. In this game. I have to stop the Joker from becoming immortal Joker, you know? Which is kind of wacky, you know? Actually, wait, I forgot about this. There's a bunch of guys with sni there's a bunch of snipers. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I'm I'm getting into basically a big rat's nest of snipers. Cool, yeah. I'm really trying here, guys. Okay, there we go. I think I really I of course Probably am just gonna want it's a different just, controller. You don't seem to be coming to the movie theater. This point. And I'd hate for you to read the spoilers on the internet again. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it anyways. Hold on. All right. It's been a long time since I played this game. Okay, guy. Fuck. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Ow. My feelings. literally not cool. This guy seriously shot me and it hurt really bad in the heart, you know? He didn't shoot me in the heart or anything, because he's not that good of a shot, but, you know, it hurt my feelings right here, you know? Hey, not cool. I guess, am I just supposed to, like, dive bomb down there? I suppose I could, right? Or I could just do this. <laughs> I'm trying. I tried to open the door. I get. I, get, I fell for his taunts. Oh shut. Let's do it for real this time. You know what? I I I've kind of. I'm I'm honestly just tired of this. Let's just uh. Legitimately, just like speedrun, seeing guys kind of fall asleep, and uh, we're gonna see how well I can edit that, right? Because <laughs> I get the feeling it's still not gonna go very well. Oh, hold on. Hold on, do they actually just straight up not have weapons anymore? Oh, I see. That was the Joker. Bruh. Well, anyways. Uh, here's the plan, right? I dive bomb one. Since there's only two of them. Oh my gosh, this actually would have been easier if I didn't have my freaking. Anyways. Here's what I'm gonna try, right? Where are you, Batman? I got your premier 
ticket right here in my pocket. It's right here, next to the gaffer tape and the pliers. Oh yeah, sure, dude. I'm definitely there. Um, here's what I'm gonna try. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna see if I can't do a silent takedown on this guy, just because he's not really paying attention. And then just do the same damn thing on this other guy, who's also not really paying attention. That's the fun thing about snipers. If you're just out of like actual like distance line of sight, they're pretty much close, like short distance blind. So whatever. Hey, we did it! We made it to the freaking building. Finally! My gosh, that took me way too freaking long. I will admit. Please don't tell me this is a boss battle. Hurry up and take your seat, Batman. Okay, the you got it. About to be you. Please tell me <laughs> it's not Let's that kind of show. <laughs> Let's just talk about this. Now you want to talk. Too late, Batman. Uh, Get yes. Fire exactly like that. Got the cure. Talia, no! <laughs> oh, that's not great. Talia. Problem solved. Couldn't you have done that the whole talk. time? You would never do it. You left me no choice. You know, There's as much as you have a point. A I had to save you. Harley Quinn stole it for him. I took it back. He just had makeup. He put on a bunch of herpes cream. He's it's like, over. what? Where the heck? Surprise! <laughs> Wait, was was he never infected in the first place or something? So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait! Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wait! Gotcha! Huh. Now for the old fake Joker gang, Batman! Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. It was the old fake Joker gag. I didn't know. Thanks. Thanks, Talia. You really helped me out here. Bravo! Who is this? Um It was never you. Not always. Well, sometimes. Oh, great. You had it the whole time. And he still didn't take it. Joker's crazy. I mean we knew that already, but like, come on. The guy's got super herpes, and he had the cure. <laughs> this guy has been coughing up a lump the entire time he's been talking, and he was able to be quiet the whole time. You had it. You had it, pal. You have had it the entire time. Clayface? A Clayface boss battle. Wow. I guess, you know, this this is fine, because he was just, like, not even there for, for uh, Arkham Asylum. Wow. Cool. Yep. Boris Carlo, or, like, or... You know, now that I know uh, the whole Clayface backstory, that... That line means, like, this whole fight means a lot. This guy, this guy was, like, the... Ow. This guy was, um... Uh, I think he, he's Basil Carlo, right? His whole deal is, uh... His whole deal is he was a uh, an actor, and um, and uh, he wanted like to be really cool or whatever. So he took some wacky prosthetic stuff that basically turned him into this, which is kind of sick, except for the part where he's like clay and all that. Ow. <laughs> And he's like covering me in freaking inkling ink. Don't just Yippee! 
Don't worry, this won't actually kill him or anything. Oh my gosh, Batman with a sword? That's pretty sick. But, yeah, uh, he, he... Uh, You're supposed to be killing Batman, remember? I don't know. He's doing a pretty good job, to be honest. Except for the part where I'm very much still alive. But yeah. This guy... I don't know if people even really know who, um... I, I swear the guy's name is Boris Karloff. He was the original, um... He was, he was like, the original Mary Shelley's Frankenstein guy. He's a big freaking guy and <laughs> and uh, unfortunately kind of a real ugly one to boot which is how he really did well as Frankenstein but um you know what are you doing can I get the sword now thanks cool very cool Batman with a sword do I finally get to make yet oh my gosh I get to make yet another Samurai Batman reference? That's sick. Don't you're worry, this does literally nothing to Clayface for some reason. I mean, it's not like you've got Shout out to the White Knight storyline in which the Joker was sane, but not oh, not sane enough to not do something like drug a bunch of villains with small pieces of Clayface. <laughs> Ooh, how did we not see that already? I'm really hoping that that sword doesn't come down wrong. There it is. Uh, hey, this place. Where have I seen this before? Um, anyways, I wonder if it really is just going to be the same. Probably not, right? Yippee! All right, very cool. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Which I probably should have expected it, but you know, it's freaking Batman with a sword, guys. It's just the way the news goes, you know. I literally, you know what? That's it. We're we're exploding that. Batman with a sword. I, I'm just gonna keep saying it. I know it's not like the coolest thing. I get hit with that every single time, huh? Every single time. I'm, I'm like actually spamming the A button and I'm still getting hit by it, but whatever. Ow. Oh, come on! There we go. Alright, please, please, please. Batman. I'm telling you, dude, you just gotta, like, stick that thing in your arm. Like, right the heck now. Oh my gosh! Uh... I mean, I was gonna make a Samurai Batman episode reference, but, like, am I gonna have to make a reference to something else? I really don't want to. I'm not even gonna say it, man. Oh, boy. And I'm not even, like, orange and stuff. <laughs> okay. Yippee! Now I have half a dose. Get out of my way, bats! I've got a date with immortality. Uh, doubtful. Not really gonna happen. Wow. I don't know. That seems like something that would. Oh. That also doesn't seem good. Hey. Kind of negligent, you know. That could have very easily been negligent homicide. Don't worry, we still have Joker's half of the cure. What are you waiting for? Come on! I killed your girlfriend, poisoned Gotham, and hell! It's not even breakfast. I don't know. I've been here a couple days. What? I think. We all know you'll save. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. 
he'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> yeah, he will. Think of it as a running no! You literally, my brother in Christ, you stabbed my dominant arm. <laughs> Are you happy now? You did this! You want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> Joker ain't a smart guy in this one, I gotta say. Pretty funny! Uh, well... Dang, Joker dies and doesn't come back for real this time. That's that's a darn shame, huh? Hmm. What now? I still don't believe it, just because I'm at like 30% completion. That of this game just has a lot of stuff. A lot of side quests, right? They go, ooh. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't say that. He literally made me drop it. Anyways. All units coordinate. Bruh. Real death in the family the moment. Uh, in there? Your mom basically did it to himself. What I lost my best friend and 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 Talia. Yeah. Oh, that actually was it, huh? Well, God, there's a lot for me to do, huh? Jeez, I'm actually gonna have to look back on that. Back? The back button? I guess. But I mean, it's like, uh... <laughs> I have to check and see, because I feel like even with Arkham Asylum, it's not like every, like half the videos I made for Asylum were, were, uh, like catch-up videos this is actually I have le I've legitimately gotten 30% completion <laughs> and this is the end of the game <laughs> so uh, there's a lot more content here I see now why people say that Arkham Asylum is like the best superhero game ever made cuz oh boy there is still more to do it feels short even but I guess I've been at it for what, like, yeah, this is episode 30. How long did uh, Asylum go for? Hold on, I'm looking it up. Arkham Asylum. Uh, there were eight extra episodes, which means that uh, the normal one went for uh, what, like, uh, God, I don't know. No, I guess the, I guess I guess Arkham Asylum was shorter technically, because that was a 27 episode run plus eight extras. Uh, and even those, I probably didn't really have to do. <laughs> like one of them's literally a trophy episode. Well, actually, no. The uh, it's eight extras and plus the trophy episode. I'm probably not going to do that this time. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell y'all? Okay, sorry. I've been really back into Legos because I got a couple you have modeling. Ooh. Call received three hours ago.
what exactly did I get? So I'm I'm big on metal earth models just because they're small and more technical and I'm honestly a little bit sad just a little bit that I can't take them apart and put them back together again but uh, Legos have gotten to be expensive <laughs> so these are fine I like them and I got a couple for Christmas that are real cool um, I think it's the P51 Mustang it's a plane it's not a car just so you know uh, B-17 Flying Fortress and uh, the USS Missouri BB-63 which is real cool and I put together the Mustang the other day, um, and that was that was nice. It's honestly, it's a it's a it's a little flat of a model, but it's a one sheeter, so it's still pretty cool. The 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 flying fortress and the the boat are gonna be really something. But it's like I uh, feel like I'm just shooting myself in the foot pretty much because. Um, at some point, I'm going to actually have to move these, or otherwise uh, just, I guess, deal with the idea that they're not, they're going to end up as, like, landfill or something. I mean, they're metal, so that's, that's good. It's metal and paper, and the paper is all packaging and instructions, so, yeah. These are great. Um... But, uh, uh, what was it exactly? Oh, no, I was like, I'm glad Legos have kind of come around, <laughs> sort of. It's weird, because it's like the, I don't know if it's just a symbol of wealth now. I wouldn't be surprised or if people just, like, openly enjoy Legos as adults, and I just never noticed. Because I enjoy Legos, and I'm an adult, but I guess I don't have all that many sets personally right now, just because... I don't really have any space to display them, or store them, or... In all honesty, I really don't have the time to put them together, or the space to put them together. Um, and then take them apart and put them back in the box and then store them somewhere. So... I guess I never really noticed, but yeah, I guess the, the, the Lego date, it's a real thing now. And... Uh... It's it's funny to me because in, in the same period of time that I'm realizing that, it's the same period of time where Legos are getting, like, kind of more expensive for less reason, I guess. And part of that, part of that, I will say, a lot of them are, like, the detail model ones, and I get it, I really do, but it's different if you're paying, like, the same amount for a larger piece, you know? I, I chalk it up to piece count because I think it probably does have to do with like some equation involving like weight and detail and piece count and whoever the hell made it or whatever and uh, but if you have like like I saw one the other day it was a a model of Chewbacca which is cool and all but it's a bunch of it, it's it's a bunch of like two by one rounds pretty much. And I'm like, oh, cool, the 6,000-piece Chewbacca model. It's, it's uh, 5,000 2-by-1 rounds and then uh, like relatively simple structure beneath it. 60 bucks, you know, or I guess a couple, a couple hundred. Um, it was probably like 120. I don't remember exactly how much it was. But it's the kind of thing that's like, I, uh, I like Legos. I really do. Somehow... I don't quite like it when it's a person, because at that point, just, like, bring back Bionicle already. And make Bionicles, you know? Because I've never really been, been into action figures. Um, I think the closest I get is I have one that's BB-8. Which is cool, because it's, it's a little... I'm not going to say it's functional, but, like, it's a little bit... There's more there. Does this thing ever speed up or anything? I don't think it does. I mean, I have a... I have a bad habit of watching credits, letting credits roll because, uh, you know, credits I do it, I let the credits roll and I ramble and all that, but anyways yeah, Legos are a, well, a symbol of wealth now and now I can finally I can freaking uh, I don't know I guess wealth trap people or whatever by showing off my my sizable Lego collection that I've amassed over years. <laughs> um, 
most of which were just gifts when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, but, uh, what was it exactly? I have this one where it's, um... Uh, I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's the Mercedes Racing Team. And it's a cool little set. It's these two cars and some minifigures. And they're they're nice. They look nice. They're collecting desk on my on my shelf. If I were a bit taller, I'd be looking at them right now. But the shelf is pretty high up. Um. And I I. <laughs> There's this. Uh, oh God, I'm outing myself as kind of pathetic. There's this girl that doesn't pay attention to me much, and I literally just sent her a picture of those. <laughs> and suddenly it's like, ooh 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 ooh. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I am now desirable. <laughs> um, and hey, if that's what it takes, I'll, I'll, I'll freaking build Legos with a girl. I've done a Lego date before. My ex, um, I think it was Christmas, and I got her one that was, um, she was in a dinosaurs, so I got her one that was like a dinosaur bones, like a museum piece. And I think the best part of that set is the the skeleton minifigure and I think it has an Indiana Jones hat on and the little plaque for it says Lego Sapiens <laughs> which is it's great <laughs> the Lego Sapiens because uh, like you don't even think about like oh these these little Lego people they're a whole different species they're not they're not representative of humans no no they're their own species all right Lego Sapiens. <laughs> um, but anyways, I guess the the story behind this Mercedes-Benz racing team box was really funny. Or I thought it was really funny because I think I might have even mentioned this a while back. It would have been around, I guess, spring break of 2023. So I guess check mid-March 2023 videos. I probably mentioned it at some point. We were at an airport, I think. Right, okay. So, I think I've mentioned before I'm the son of two engineers. Uh, they're, they're not together anymore, but either way, yeah, okay, my parents make a lot of money. It doesn't It doesn't transfer well when they don't have like superfluous spending habits and they're divorced and I have three older siblings who also weren't like spoiled or anything at least financially like just having four kids is enough of a drain that like even even being like rich income wise you're middle class or like upper middle class and I always considered us to be like um, I guess overall upper middle class like Globally, of course, we're rich, but um, I guess America-wise, we're upper middle class, and for the community we're living in, we're probably like lower middle class even. Maybe just middle class, middle of the road. But um, So now that my mom, I guess, doesn't have as much of a drain on her resources and she's dating again, she's uh, completely flip-flopped from being a Disney person, just because like Disney sucks now, to a cruise person. <laughs> Which is, is fine by me. I enjoy cruises. Um, I probably get tired of them going to the same place. Like, there's only so many times you can see Cozumel and be like, hey, this looks like a mall. Um, but uh, the last one we took uh, went out of Miami. Because we took one out of Galveston one time. I've only ever been on two cruises, uh, just for the record. So I'm, I'm not up there or anything. <laughs> I, I say um, but took one out of Miami so we were in the Miami airport or yeah okay it was the Miami airport and we're just walking around and out in the distance I see oh my gosh I, I look I see a big yellow vending machine I'm like wait is that is that a Lego vending machine it's a Lego set vending machine I say Oh my gosh! I've seen everything good in this world now! Oh my gosh! I say, it's a Lego vending machine! 
I don't I could die tomorrow I would die happy I wouldn't even get to go on the cruise and I'd be fine because I know that this world has at least one good thing and that is vending machines that have Lego sets in <laughs> and one of the Lego sets was the Mercedes-Benz racing team and um, so okay backtracking a little bit my birthday is March 7th and that falls like pretty much right before spring break on most schedules and my my mom's boyfriend I think I had met him a couple times before then we're all, we're all on good terms and he's a pretty cool guy and I, I guess he like had been feeling bad because he didn't get me anything for my birthday and I just kind of like see him out of my peripheral as I'm looking at this Lego vending machine being like ah oh, cool they got like little kitty sets you know that's pretty cool and I see him like walk up and reach into his pocket I'm like oh no oh dude you dude you don't have to do that he's like what do you mean I'm like uh you don't you don't have to get me anything and he's just like gets me this Lego set out of the vending machine um and I spent like I spent like I don't I don't even know how long I spent putting those things together it, it flew by it felt like because it was a it was a freaking blast and uh good good freaking times so yeah if you're ever in the Miami airport just walk around you'll see a Lego vending machine and then kill yourself <laughs> um yeah, I hope I go to Miami again, and I hope they have the exact same sets. I think it was that, and like two or three Lego Minecraft sets. There might have been a small Star Wars set, and there was absolutely like a city set. And you know what else? There might have been one of those like, just god awful expensive, um, uh, what are they? I gotta go cook dinner, man. Um, the, uh, what was it? Uh, hold on. Okay, may have shot myself in the foot. Apparently, uh, 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 the uh, putting together Lego set date plan kind of fell through. I think the way I put these boxes up here did not. Uh, hold on. So I've got like storage shelves up high. Y'all can y'all can leave. By the way, you don't have to keep listening to me. <laughs> You you can go now. Why are you still here? The movie's over. The show's over already. What are you What are you still doing here? Um. Hold on. I got a lot of I got a lot of crap. Sort of. Me personally, I'm pretty much rich, especially for my age. But I'm slowly getting less and less rich, on account of the fact that I have uh, more bills than I do income, unfortunately, at the moment. And uh, let me just say, if you ever get a nice deal with a well-paying job where they say, hey, you can work fully remote and uh, you won't have any guaranteed hours, it's not actually a good deal. Because uh, that also means you don't get any guaranteed income. And if they don't give you any hours, then you're screwed. Damn, uh, geez, the box kind of folded in on itself a little bit. It's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I think that's something. Good old Lego Speed Champions. The, uh, the Mercedes AMG. It's pretty cool. It's the F1 team. That's nice. Uh, 564 pieces. I'm honestly a little bit surprised that this took me as long as it did, because I swear, like, my sisters fell asleep watching, um, like, uh, Mysterious phenomena, <laughs> and uh, on the dis on the freaking Discovery Channel or whatever. 
but uh, yeah, that's that's it. I don't have anything else to talk about. I ended up talking about Legos and like trying to impress women. I don't know why I try to do it because like uh, it doesn't always work very well. And I think uh, my dad gave me this little line of advice: uh, just stop caring. Because all uh, apparently all any all any woman wants is a man that don't fucking care. <laughs> And I believe him. <laughs> uh, I believe him a little bit, but like I'm the kind of I'm the kind of person that just can't help but um, answer texts and things like that. Uh, and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that that actually does legitimately make me undesirable. I think most people just don't even care or don't notice or anything like that. But some people will take like forever to respond, and I honestly do. I'd probably just get pissy with it, where I'll just be like, "All right, I'm gonna." I don't set a timer or anything, but in my head, I'm like, I'm literally not going to respond before, like, 15 minutes. Just because this person doesn't really talk to me. You know, they don't really respond. Um, but, hey, gotta get my social interaction in somehow, right? It used to be that this was what that was for. But now I just do this for fun. Yeah. Still doing it, too. Hey! Finally! Oh, God, I gotta cook dinner. Yes! Yes! We made it to the end of the credits. New Game Plus! Wow! You're gonna need them. It's the ultimate challenge with no counter icons, tough new energy configurations. Wow, that's, uh, cool. Anyways, we're not gonna worry about that. Oh, nice! That's sick. We're absolutely going to be wearing different outfits on the next episode of Batman Arkham City. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or, right? Right? We're done? Time We're done. <sighs> quit this damn town for good. Okay. On the next episode, Catwoman. Again, till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I am going to die. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.